believe it or not, as the money is going to the clubs, the clubs mm. also paying people. The restaurants. People are, to the they're, they're don't, forget, don't, don't forget the wire transfers that, from abroad. Right, too. that chain, that yeah. supply chain is yeah. getting sorted out with the yeah. money that's coming in. Mm -hmm. So that's, I guess, that's what he meant when he said that it's bringing it's money to the economy. economy yeah. But because the people that have the money in the economy is not circulating. Mm -hmm. Those are our uncles that are spending their money in Europe. Yeah, they're in the USA. It's banks. It's in banks across the world outside Nigeria. I pray that this can be like a catalyst that can that can spread to the politicians and every other angles, you know, especially well, in it's Nigeria. Starting. It's yeah. starting. Got the it's starting, yeah. governor, ex governor Korocha, Korocha, of Korocha, yeah. State. You really? King. Yeah, you know. Wow. And also, I feel like there should be like, uh, you know, like an organization or a, a body. Again? In, in the, no, 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 no. I mean, for the entertainment industry a, in Nigeria. Body? Yeah, like a, maybe like an independent or national, I don't know, whatever it is, something to regulate the content and the lyrics of they the music have. in they Nigerian industry. They have that. That was how they got Olamide's song pulled off the out. air. Yeah. Okay. They do have yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, you, know? you have someone like Olamide that has Yahoo Boy no laptop as a, li li a record, label. record label. Yeah. Yeah. You, I, mean, you, I, I, I know a couple of scams. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to say that. I don't, I don't even know if it's legal for me to say this. You know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't come for me. I don't know. <laughs> but um, they are very, very smart. Mm -hmm. They are very, very smart. Mm -hmm. It's like a full-time job for mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. They sit at this public cafe sometimes, mm -hmm. and sometimes these things are happening right in front of us. Right. They are in cafes, public yes. cafes, mm -hmm. you know, scamming people, and, uh, you know, they're very, very smart. They know what they're doing. Uh -huh. They use fake signatures. Mm -hmm. They use fake FaceTime things. So yes. it's like a, a whole technology where mm -hmm. they can they can pull somebody's face so it looks like you're talking to somebody, mm -hmm. but then you are not. Oh. You know, yeah, oh, 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 yes. The money is coming. Like the the money is coming Snapchat through does. Western Union, mm -hmm. through a uh, bank account. Moneygram. My people, if somebody hits you up asking you for your bank account's number because they want they want their uncle to send you money, that's a fraud. Child, that's listen, a, I'm telling you, yeah. don't you get my that friend, all the time? My, my sister's friend mm -hmm. recently, she just told me like, ah, that's her friend. Went to do that into his account to withdraw money, and he saw that there was one point something million sitting in the account. Mm. Like he just he made his the expert and said, Ah, we have touched that one because you know mm. what? Mm. Whomever it is that put the money in their account, we mm. just let it sit down there and see how long it'll stay there for mm. before they actually close out the account. Or if they don't close out the account, mm. their, the money is there for a while. Mm. What would they do? They'll reach out because obviously the person knows him, yeah, they will now reach out to him and be like, Oh, you know what? Um. Oh, my bad. Money went into your account, but it wasn't supposed to. I missed yes. the number, and then yeah. next thing, you're mm -hmm. the person that they will yeah. pick up if anything happens. Yeah. Yeah. People are smart, and that's someone very, that's very, close to you. Yeah, People are getting yeah. very creative. And you know, and you know what? What's a caller ID nowadays? Yeah. Because do you know that somebody in Africa can use AT and T, T Mobile, of course. to call your phone? Yeah. yeah. For example, Buzz, Revolu uh, Buzz Revolution. Yeah. Remember mm -hmm. the app? Once you call, uh, you know, uh, Nigeria, it's Nigeria. coming up as a Nigerian number. It's coming number. up as a Nigerian number. Like the whole thing, you know. And Bank of America started, you know, some. Thing. When they notice, like you know, some very funny uh, activity in your account, they just shut it down. Like they call you, invite you, give you your money, and like we're done doing business with you. Yeah, because mm. it's, it's, it's yeah, it's you know, I like that. Well, you, you know, know yeah, what? Yeah. You know the funny thing yes. with what you just said. Yeah. They will still pick you up. <laughs> yes, the incident with those ten guys, it didn't happen this year, it happened mm -hmm. in 2015. Because they are watching four years ago. Piling up the evidence. Yeah. So they're like, you know, I, I following actually know, the whole I know thing. two of them personally, and I know that those ones do not do that stuff. They just mm -hmm. are a victim, they got caught in the crossfire. They're just a victim of circumstance. Mm -hmm. That the people around them, mm -hmm. no, no, really, you mm -hmm. know one of them too. You know them personally too. Ooh. But wow. um <laughs> Yeah, I'll be knowing people. But they do they, they really will pick you up. <laughs> even though it's four years later, even though it's five years later, they will pick you up. So even if they give you your money, mm. take your money, I'm done doing business with you. Mm. Don't spend that money. Just put the money in another account because they might come for you and you have yeah. to pay the but money. You know what's back. so funny to me is that the, the people are so they don't even care now about hiding their because how many I will tell you have about twenty 30 people that have slid in my inbox and, and thing, trying to sell me money. Do you want to put money in your bank account? Do you, ah, auntie, you're so beautiful. You know, we, can you send something? I'm like, you don't even, like, you're not even, like, you, they're not even waiting. I've gotten calls, like, hey, you're not waiting. you want a certain amount of money, blah, mm. blah, blah. Yeah. These are the things you need yes. to do to claim your money. And you know what thank I told you. one of them? I was like, oh, wow, thank you so much. You money. know what, can you just get it for me and I'll get it from you, from you later. Not lie. <laughs> you have to lie. I don't even, I don't That's what I just them, you know. And that's one thing about scammers too. I think they've mastered it. So yeah. it's two things they want. They want your heart yes. and they want your the money. money. Why yes. do you keep saying heart, heart, Because heart. it's true. Because let me tell you something. Let me yeah, tell you something. He's talking about romance. It's not romance. Like, 
Because you have to trust them. Like the same people. Yeah. They, they deceive you. Yeah. You have to trust them before you can send them money. Some people fall victim not for trust, but for greed. Yeah. 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 Some people fall victim not for trust, but for greed. But I trust you that I'm sending you the money because of something. At the end of the day, karma says it's not karma. Yeah, because most times people are made offers. These people have money, but they make offers to them that they want to sell. Like those three point five billion dollar boys they caught. It was oil investment. The people wanted to invest in oil because they knew the money was going to multiply. So me putting three point five million dollar to get ten million. Dollars, that's big, right? Yeah, mm. yeah. tomorrow I can contest catchy. with Bill Gates and the rest. Some of them so it's it's New York. One of the people they got arrested was a very popular promoter. Yeah. Huh? So two of them, actually. Oh, two, two of them. them. Yeah. So, oh, wow. and yeah. what's what, like, you know, you always go back to when something is too good to be true. <laughs> it is, it's, it is. It's it not, is. it's not. Yeah. So, then what are the signs? Then? Let's talk about the okay. signs. And I like that. I let's, like that. Okay, so let's yeah. talk about it. And don't look at me because I'm not a, I'm not a scammer. Let's talk about the signs of knowing who a scammer is or whether you are not, you are getting Scam. What are the well, for, signs? for starters, mm -hmm. if you get if you have somebody I'm reach out to, to you, mm -hmm. <laughs> you, get, you have somebody reach out to you telling you about something that you know you never heard of before, mm. and they're promising you money. But guy, it's 2019. Nobody will just give you money willy nilly just because. Yeah, mm. yeah. No, already. Wait, so that, you, that's you try to thing. tell me nobody's gonna send me money because I'm cute. No, I mean, nobody sent you $1.7 million. You're not sure. No, it doesn't have to be $1.7 million. Yeah. They'll be, be really good. It could be $5,000. It will $5,000. It's all. You're not going to tell me to even, and if you want to give me that money, it's cute. You can mm. just tell me to meet up with you and give me the cash. You're not sending money into my account. You're not telling me to go pick up a cell hey. union from somewhere. Yeah. No, none yeah. of those things. Yeah. Because guess what? I'm not going to jail on your behalf. Mm. And secondly, uh, if somebody, okay. if somebody has been talking to you for a short time and all of a sudden, some, all of a sudden something just happened that they need you to pay up something for mm -hmm. them and they'll give you the money later. Mm -hmm. hey. That's a scam. All right. Mm -hmm. And the next one is that if somebody's like the romance, what we were talking about, right? When they're talking to you, they love you really fast, number one. <laughs> they love you really, really fast. They're in love with you. And then all of a sudden, something has happened to their mom. Mm. They are not feeling well. <laughs> and this money that they're waiting for has not arrived yet. Mm. And you know what I'm saying? Oh, you don't really love me because you're not, you know, you're not, you're not, you're not sending me. You know that I'm suffering here and everything. They try to use like what is that guilt? Guilt trip you into giving yeah. money. Yep. You know, like it's it's like, and literally, can nobody love anybody yes. that quick? Yes. Okay. And also, yeah. And you never met me in person. <laughs> you don't know me. So you don't, you don't know how sweet I am. Love us at no, first sight. Same same day. After okay, so I think we're talking also, about the love yeah. aspect. Yeah. Of it. Yeah. What about mm -hmm. business wise? Mm -hmm. When somebody brings you a business deal. Business on offer. the table, but then it's it's very sketchy. Mm -hmm. And then you know, like there's like there's, there's, there's <laughs> most, license. Most, most, in, most businesses in Nigeria and Ghana and all these countries license. are licensed. So you want to see? You do some extra legwork. Mm -hmm. You just don't believe everything, right? You get some, you do some research, even if you have to fly down there and find out yourself. Mm -hmm. Because anything that they just give you paper with seals and all yeah. that stuff, it's a scam. Yeah. You cannot give your Another money thing, without knowing. Okay, so finish yeah. your point. Yeah. Another thing is that some of these people use people that you know. Mm -hmm. For example, I can get a call, or whatever, or I could be into something, and I'll call Aisha. Aisha, please, I need a favor. Like, somebody needs to put money, deposit money into your account, and all that. And because Aisha because knows me know, very well, it's yeah. Marks, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, Aisha gives me her details. So, like even if somebody that you know <laughs> needs your, your assistance for your account information to put in money, don't do that. Yeah. Oh. Nigeria scam. There's one mm. that's going on in Nigeria. Mm. If somebody sends you a message and tells you, oh, brother, please, I put your number by mistake. There's a code that was sent to me. Can you just send the code to me? Because I can't put your number, I can't put my own number in. Yes, yeah, exactly. Don't do it. They're about yeah. to scam you. Yeah. You. Yeah. They're about to empty yeah. your account. So be on the lookout for yeah. that too. Mm -hmm. And another so, one well, is let me, when, okay, let, let me, me, let let me say this real quick. Let's not forget the charity scams that goes around mm. as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I know how you show your, you know, yeah. you're into charity and you're doing everything. <laughs> so how do we know mm -hmm. that, that you're not scamming us? Actually, um, um, Africa Everything is now a certified nonprofit. Yay. I just did it recently. How do we know? So you're gonna be checking right. the tax information <laughs> yeah. and all that stuff. And the thing about it is that they literally I have receipts. You can see the school, how it was, how it is now. And if you wanna call the school or call people that are in charge of the school, call them. Mm. Cause that's all, it's really to do that back yeah, work. Yeah. To contact people that people have said, oh, I've, I've given people this water. Mm. I've done, done this. this. Mm. Uh, let me call that place and say, is this happening? Yeah. Because yeah. the time down. Even in New York, there's a lot of charity events mm -hmm. that go on. Oh yes. my gosh. Big ones. Uh, you they know, we've discussed that, you know, yeah. me and my producer, yeah. we've discussed that. And, you know, yeah. and there are people that are taking money. Yeah. Yeah. And they live in beautiful and they houses. Of course, of yeah. course. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, you know very well that people here in America, they are very generous mm -hmm. in giving mm -hmm. with donations and everything. Especially and if, you, if you mention Africa, 
and break yeah. Africa yeah. and yeah. all that. And also, Charlie, the, it's, it's a good thing you brought that up because even in Nigeria, one of you know Nigeria's domestic airlines, Dana Air, mm -hmm. while in flight as you're flying and everything, they're collecting donations from the passengers. Oh, 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 my God. oh yeah. And oh, then what? when they got checked in on that, they went quickly went to the Corporate Affairs Commission to go and register it. Mm -hmm. hey. And they've been, they've been doing this for like four or five years. Now, wow. Dana wow. Air. Now, wow. So there's another one. This is Nigeria, Ghana. So people, what they do is sell other people's homes and other people's land. They're still <laughs> doing that. That's the scam. They're still doing So if you ever go in Nigeria or in Ghana, you see, this house is not, not for sale. It's not for sale. Not be well for one night. Night. One night. <laughs> people are selling other people's properties and leaving. <laughs> oh, you've got the house. Here's your key. And leave. And it's somebody else's house. It doesn't belong to them. So find out if that house is registered, is licensed, before yeah. you spend your money for this fine, fine house, yeah. like that lady did, yeah. but we found out it's at her home. Yeah. Another also, thing yeah. is um, the money doubling scheme. We oh. had MMM that came mm. through. I did that. I, I, I did almost, that. I made money from that, too. You Wait, we made money from that? I made money from MMM. How? Explain. He was one of the lucky ones. They earned oh. you money. <laughs> because they earned you trust. They, 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 they yeah. give you money, they yeah. double your money, double your yeah. money to an extent. And when you put in a bigger pot, of course. That's when he closed it. MMM sold in December. Yeah, I sold, yeah. All my trips in Europe. That's why I got my ticket money flying everywhere. Let's talk about men's gold. Let's talk about men's gold a little bit. Because men's gold was this big company that came in Ghana. Nana Nana appear. Yep. He's currently in jail in Dubai. Okay. That's wow. what they're saying. They're saying we still need proof whether or not he's in jail, but mm -hmm. that's what they're saying he's I'm in jail. Moldy. So Men's Gold basically he built this company yes. mm -hmm. whereby you can double your money. Mm -hmm. So before you can even be accepted into the company, you have to have a certain amount of money. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. your your twenty thousand dollars might not be Make enough. It. They okay. want people, big men yeah. and big women to come in and invest Hashtag. and yes. double their money. Uh -huh. And my people in Ghana, most of them did not have that money. Mm -hmm. So what did they do? They mm -hmm. went to borrow oh, money. Oh, there, there, there was this God. man that yeah. had, um, um, had an orphanage. Yes. Took all the money Ew. that was donated into the orphanage hey, and nice. took it to men's gold hey. to, in, to double the greed of it all. Oh the greed. We have pastors yeah. taking offerings, taking yeah. the tight mm. offerings, to do forex, taking it, so taking thing, it to yeah. men's yeah. gold, to training, and yeah. this man duped all Everybody. of them. They came to find out it wasn't well licensed. Mm. The, even the president was sold. In, yeah. With the idea at the yeah. first place, yeah. but it yeah. came yeah. and yeah. everything was a scam. Yeah. Yeah. Now people scam. are starving in people Ghana. This, people are killing themselves. Oh people are hungry. People, people are angry. Because people, the people are depressed the because yeah. men's gold now now appear yeah. with that one leg. Oh my God! Scammed all these people. And, I guess, and the thing about it is that it's so it's so dubious because it seems like he's being protected a little bit by he is. the government. He is. Because oh. literally these people are trying to get their money back and their and their money. Some of these people they they put them they want it for back from the banks and the banks refuse to give them the monies too. Mm -hmm. So it's really like it's all interchangeable. So scams can happen from the smallest level yeah. to the highest level. And I don't understand one thing about yeah. Nana Pia. I'm sorry, my people in Ghana, Nana Pia. Whenever he's coming out to explain his side of the story, mm -hmm. he's using big grammars that none of us <laughs> understand <laughs> what he's saying. <laughs> Fallacy. Like Silas is yeah. like, I mean, what are you talking about? Is this an apology or are you explaining what like the the grammar? Hey, calm down, calm down, calm down to our level because none of us well, know what's going on. They don't know when they're getting their money back. From nowhere, yeah. Charlie. Remember, it's all, it's, all, yes. it's all about packaging. This yes. man came from nowhere, and then you just believed him to give him millions right. of dollars. You, you know what? I was having this yeah. argument with a friend, yeah. questioning. Yeah. yeah. Nana Pia, because yeah. I'm from Ghana and mm. I know big men from Ghana. Yeah. But this, oh, there's I, no track record. Honestly, honestly. Just, I know big men. <laughs> but the thing is, I didn't know where Nana Pia just appeared. came from. Yeah. He just appeared rich. Xylophone. With, xylophone with all these houses. And when we're questioning wow. why, like how he got his money, yeah. people were like, why are you questioning how somebody else got their money? Yeah. And that's one thing Africans, like, we, yeah. they, you take know, it they, face value. they take it as. Yes. Oh, you are hated when you he was hated. poor. Yeah. You didn't ask right. why he was poor, yeah. but now that he got money, you are asking why you know he how he, he, how he made all this money. Yeah. And it's not that we are judging or we are being haters. Mm -hmm. It's just we want to ask questions. Yeah, definitely. There's nothing wrong with asking you questions. Your money, you need to, so, before I give even somebody twenty dollars, I have to find out exactly where, where are you from. You see yeah, my twenty dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you from? Yeah. Before yeah. somebody just so, gets and takes it. Yeah. So bringing it back to what's happening in Nigeria with Yahoo, Yahoo, it's really getting out of hand. What do you think? What do you guys think that we need to? To do you know to curb it let's start with our country let's start with nigeria let's start with you know that's what we're, what, we're yeah. saying what do you think that we need we need to do to help the situation especially amongst you know young people the youth the government has to step up the government has to step up everything lands they back in the to. government yes oh, now because it's the, the, no, okay you know listen the government are the ones every every year they pick these people up every year nigeria has over 150 up. universities huh? and we have at least 500,000 graduates okay, and out of that 500,000 graduates only 40 to 40 
47% get jobs. Imagine of so which, out of that 40%, some people that schooled abroad still come back home to compete yes. for that yes. space. Yes. So we're talking about 60% of the youths coming out of university Jobless. with no job, mm. left with no money, they can't pay bills. Your parents don't want you to come back home. They are mm. done with you. Mm. You can't come back home to stay at home, mm -mm. and then you don't have anything mm. else to do. Yeah. You think so about robbery, you and think about Yahoo. So the government has to okay. work on providing jobs. So the yeah. job scheme of Nigeria, or rather mm. Africa, mm. Will help. they have to fix it. Mm. They so have we can to all agree jobs. that one way that we can help solve, at least help solve this problem yeah. is the jobs. government creating And our government starts stealing our money. And, yeah. and, and all of that. Yeah. I want to know what the viewers think, though. Yeah. Let Please. us know in the comment section your thought on this topic. We love you for watching. Until next time, this is the ABS Show. Bye. Thanks for watching. And if you liked this episode, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you next time.